Look at this. Green Ridge State Forest. Wow. I, I'm shocked. It's an Overlander's Hotel. Go check it out. Hello, and welcome to the great state of Maryland. We're at the Green Ridge State Forest. And uh, yeah, I have very little knowledge about this. I just saw it on the map, saw it had some trails to run. So I figured I'd give it a shot and check it out. So here at the visitor center, hopefully I'll get some more info. Self-registration for camping, shooting range, and harvesting wood. Drop box for your cash. So you got range permits, fuel wood, maps, and camping permits. Well, we need a place to sleep for the night. Then you're gonna sign up right here on the camping roster. Downside is you gotta kind of guess at your spots. Oh, there we go, camping. All the guidelines, bathroom situation. This is going to be Overlander style. And of course, leave no trace. Let's walk in the uh, overlooked path right by the visitor center. Nice little paved path leading into an overlook. It's $10 a night for up to six people. If it's going to be seven or greater, it's an extra $1 per person per night. Sites come on a first come first served basis with the exception of group sites, which need to be reserved in advance. If you want to stay over 14 days, you have to have a seven day gap in between. In the early 1800s, Charles Carroll, the last surviving signatory of the Declaration of Independence, owned most of the land. This park is over 47,000 acres and is now one of Maryland's largest state forests with over 50 miles of hiking and driving and access to the Potomac River, as well as some very majestic views. If you're scared of heights, this is not the place for you. Nice little walk. Definitely worth the 10 minutes that it'll take to come out here and see it. Plus you get to stretch your legs after being in the car for a while. Can't beat that. Let's go check it out. We're gonna start this off with 15 Mile Creek. And we're off. Let's go find some dirt. No idea that things like this existed in Maryland. 50,000 acres, I'll take that. All right. And it looks like we are here. Huh. We're gonna switch over to Trails Off-Road. This doesn't have the full info. It's just a little scout route. There we go. 15 Mile Creek. Yeah, let's give her a shot. Dead here. Now I gotta figure out which way to go. Well, there we go. Still got street crap, street signs. I had no idea stuff like this was in Maryland. No idea. Go figure. Maryland, you surprised me. The only downside is, uh, well, you know what? Let me start from, from the beginning. So this state forest has 100 campsites, except they're not the sites like you usually see in state forests. It's not a campground. 
its 100 dispersed sites. Can you say Overlander's Paradise? The downside is, though, you gotta sign up for one. And you gotta pay 10 bucks. Whopping 10 bucks a night. Hey, I'll take that. It is hard to find dispersed camping on the East Coast. But I have never seen a state park that's set up for overlanding, essentially. Don't beat me though, I'm getting here late in the afternoon and I just picked one of the sites that was at the end of 15 Mile Creek, hoping that it was nice. I would pre-scout your sites, drive around the park during the day, find your site, and then go up there and sign up for it. We'll see how we make out tonight. Got bridges for pretty much everything. That kind of takes all the fun out of it. See if we're allowed to go down here. Well, the other one had a sign saying not allowed. Well, I'm gonna guess this one's allowed. It's got a little alternate trail sign. Oh. No crossing for us, boys and girls. Dang. in a little elevation. Ah, that view is still pretty amazing. I'll give you a copy of all the rules. Welcome to site 55. Well, that's a nice little site. Don't have much cell phone reception. Not too bad. You are separated from people. Not your typical state park, that's for sure. Well, not your typical state park campground. I think we're gonna call this home for the night. Get some little cheapo fire sticks and this stuff, sterno green. It's basically sterno for your campfire. It's pretty cool. You look real close you can see the green slime that's my uh, sterno campfire napalm i am so cheating it's not even funny oh yeah she's taken off not bad at all i don't know why i even try and wake up early it never happens Let's get coffee ready. <sighs> A little bit of coffee in me. Time for breakfast. I'm out of Pop-Tarts, so we gotta cook. Probably should be on the trail right now, but ah, I'm technically on vacation. Happy Monday. But it's a vacation day. Do some exploring around and figure out where I'm going to land for the week. That's pretty good. Beats the heck out of Pop-Tarts. It's just a lot more work. Okay, let's go see what this place has to offer. It's 
still on 15 Mile Creek. Unfortunately, I didn't see any spots by the creek. That's gonna bring us to the end of 15 Mile Creek. Uh, difficulty wise, near, not very much difficulty. There's one stream crossing you get to do. The rest all have bridges built over them. Let's go see what else the Green Ridge State Forest has to offer here in Maryland. Driving around a little bit. This place is big. All the roads have been very well maintained so far. Just got to a little spot where, unfortunately, they don't allow camping. That kind of bites. It's called Point Lookout. Don't worry, you don't have to hike very far until you get to the view. right now just past Point Lookout it's actually the same road that Point Lookout came in on there are a couple sites down here they don't have any cell though so I don't think I'll be staying here this is the closest thing I've got to off-roading since I've been here You can dodge these. You can stay in the center here. If you slip off though, watch out. You'll be a little off camber. I wouldn't want to be in a sports car. So far, Carroll Road has been the roughest I've seen in the park. Just that little washout section. They fixed that, it's still pretty much a piece of cake. Well, here we are at a bit of a crossroads. Go check out this loop down here, because, well, that looks pretty cool. Looks like we're definitely gonna get to the river. Bond's Landing, got high hopes. This is just beautiful out here. It's my kind of place. If you find yourself in this neck of the woods and don't stop by, it's your loss. This place has got just about everything you could ever need. Highly recommend it. Overlander Hotel with free showers. Can't beat that. Uh, spots 90 through 98 are prime river 
outside camp spots. Beautiful access. Nice level sights. Everybody's pretty close in here though. If you don't need cell phone reception, you don't mind a train, you want to be close to the river and uh, a little close in to people, 95 is the spot for you. That is a beauty. All right, time to check out, see what else they got to offer. So far, like this park has been surprising me a lot. Never expected this in a state park. I seriously thought I was going to take about an hour or so and drive around this park. Uh, that was like four hours ago. Man. Look at this. Green Ridge State Forest. Wow, I, I'm shocked. It's an overlander's hotel. It's amazing, despite the sites are super spread out. There's on and off spotty cell phone reception, um, solar in just a few spots. Then you got those river sites. Oh man, if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd throw away my plans for the rest of the day and just stay there. Just beautiful. I'm shocked. Who knew that there was an Overlander Hotel in Maryland? If you're by this way, come and see it. Well, with all my big plans to spend a couple hours here and then land someplace different for work, well, that didn't quite happen. Honestly, this place is so dang nice. I just couldn't pass up spending the week here. <laughs>